Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be continuing my top 10 series here. I have already done my top 10 makeup products that I purchased this year, so that video will be linked below. But today we're going to be talking about my top 10 skincare products that I have purchased this year. Skincare is really the starting point, like the launching pad, if you will, for a great face of makeup. And since I have learned that, I have incorporated some really awesome products into my routine, some anti-aging things that I've seen a really big difference with. All of these things I highly recommend. They are working well for me. Hopefully they will work well for you, so let's jump into this. I'm gonna start from the ground up. So we're gonna start with cleanser. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It is formulated for all skin types. This is what it looks like. They did have this available as a point perk on the Sephora Rewards Bazaar, so maybe it's still available, but if not, this is really nice. This uh, You get five fluid ounces, which is a decent amount of product in this. It is a little spendier of a cleanser. I think it's around the 30 some, price, 30 some dollar price point. However, I really like this. It is gentle enough to use daytime and nighttime. It's not a super harsh cleanser. I like that. My skin is more sensitive and I really go in with a cleansing balm first to remove the makeup. So after my makeup is completely removed, then I will go in and cleanse it with a cleanser. I don't use this to take my makeup off. After I use this, my skin is really radiant. It's very healthy looking. It feels very clean, but it doesn't feel stripped or tight. The consistency of this, it's kind of like a gel. It doesn't strip your face. My face doesn't feel tight afterwards. It's still very hydrating and I just would recommend this cleanser. The next product is also by Fresh, and it's the Black Tea Kombucha Facial Essence. Big mouthful. It's a beautiful glass, frosted glass bottle. I think this would make a beautiful gift for someone who loves skincare. But basically, this is an anti-aging essence. So an essence is kind of like a toner, where after you wash your face, this is something that you're going to go in next. So this has a lot of antioxidants in it and a lot, a lot of anti-pollution type agents. This is going to help soothe your skin and also reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. When I apply this on my face, my face is instantly like just glowy and it's smooth and it feels like silk on your face. It, it's really hydrating. It plumps up those fine lines and wrinkles. And I find it's just an extra added little luxurious step for your skin, if you will. It refines the appearance of your skin and really preps it for all the other things you're gonna put in, your serums and your moisturizer and things like that. So this is a step that I think just adds that little extra something to my, to my routine and makes my face look just a little extra radiant. Eye creams, oh my goodness, I have two eye creams actually. I couldn't pick just one because I like them both, I really do. And they're different price points and one is more organic and the other one isn't. So we'll start with the more organic one. I say more organic, I believe it's an all natural brand. It's the Tata Harper Restorative Eye Cream. It looks like this, beautiful frosted glass, which again, really nice packaging. It is a pump. I prefer a pump situation for an eye cream so then it's not exposed to air every single time that you open it and just kind of for ease of use. And I feel like I can control how much is coming out of this versus with my finger. When I dip my finger in, I always get a lot, but with a pump you can just squeeze it just a little bit and just get the tiniest little amount. And for the eye area, you really don't need that much. Um, so this is a very lovely formula. It is a cream and it's very lightweight yet hydrating. I find that an eye cream is kind of essential if you're going to be wearing makeup because it really preps the under eye area. It hydrates it so that your concealer doesn't sink down into dryness or fine lines. And that's what's going to aid you is when you put a concealer on dehydrated under eyes. It's just going to look dry and cakey and gross. So I don't think any eye cream is going to like completely erase lines. Um, Botox would do that, um, but basically it's going to soften it and it's going to hydrate the area which then will plump up the lines if anything. So I really like this one. The other one that I like is by Drunk Elephant and this is the C Tangle Multivitamin Eye Cream. This also has vitamin C in it and vitamin C really is a lovely, lovely ingredient. Um, it's going to help give that brightness. Uh, this also has uh, cucumber extract which helps give the skin a little bit 
the firmness and a little bit stronger under um under eye area when i think of cucumbers i can't help but think about my son he was taking a bath the other day or actually this was a little bit ago and i think i might have posted it on instagram a photo of him he was asking for pickles for his eyes and i know he meant cucumbers but you know when you go to spas and all that they put the cucumbers on there and it just really helps with this under eye area not look so dehydrated and tired both of those eye creams work well with makeup. So if you do wear makeup and you're concerned that the eye cream might be too hydrating, neither one of those is too thick that you couldn't use it during the daytime. I use them both day and night. I just rotate back and forth. So after I've gone in and I've washed and I've toned and I've done my eye cream, this is when I go in with my acids. And I have two acids that are new to me this year and I like both of them just for different reasons. So the first one is by Tarte. This is the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. This is a 10% acid and it's actually a blend of salicylic and lactic. So salicylic acid, I think I'm saying that right, probably not excuse me, is a BHA, a beta hydroxy acid, and lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. The AHAs are a more gentle form of an acid, whereas the BHAs are a little bit more harsh, a little bit more powerful. So if you are new to acids, I always recommend people to start with the AHAs or like the lactic. I think ferulic is an a ferulic acid is an AHA as well, um, something like that, versus just diving straight into like a glycolic or a salicylic. Um, not that you can't, because you could, but just, just know that, you know, if you have really sensitive skin to start small. So the formulation of this acid is the fact that it's a liquid. You're going to want to pour this out onto a cotton round and then swipe it all over your face. Now this does tingle a little bit. I don't experience a lot of tingling with this, and that could be because my skin is used to acids. I've been using them for some time now, and I've also used stronger ones, like just a pure glycolic. And so my skin is grown accustomed to it, but that's why I say ease into it. So this helps, oh my goodness, retexturize your face. Um, slough off the dead skin cells. It really gives that all over radiant glow. I personally have found for myself that an acid is the true game changer in the skincare world. Like then the acids are what totally have transformed the texture and refined the texture of my skin. I don't even really have it anymore. Um, it's just really smoothed out. I don't have all that bumps and stuff. Now from time to time I will because certain things will irritate my skin, especially uh, I've noticed makeup and stuff. But this is what, if you're experiencing really bad texture or anything, get yourself an acid. The other acid that I'm really loving, like seriously, is by Drunk Elephant. And this is the TLC Frambuse Glycolic Night Serum. So this is actually also a blend of AHAs and BHAs. I think these blends are really nice because you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. It also kind of softens the blow of what a straight BHA would do for probably most people's skin, especially if you're new to using acids. If you go straight for that really harsh stuff, your skin's going to be like, whoa, hold up, we weren't ready for this. Um, so this is a 12% blend. So this one's a little bit, the, the percentage is higher on this one. However, I think that the delivery system in this is just a little bit more gentle. So this has a pump and it comes out as a nice lightweight little gel type serum onto the face. Acids are gonna help with your skin texture, they're gonna help with your fine lines and wrinkles, they're gonna help shrink the pore size and give an overall clearness, clarity to the skin. This is what's gonna bring you back to your childlike days where your skin is just clear and just beautiful. Luminosity, if your skin is looking dull and it needs some life, get some acids and then go in with the hydrating things and you're gonna have a completely changed face. Moisturizer, so I have two moisturizers that have been really lovely, a really lovely addition to my skincare routine. So the first one is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream. This is by Drunk Elephant. So basically this is protein. So this protein moisturizer has a bunch of peptides in it and growth factors. So those growth factors and peptides are gonna help with your skin's tone and the firmness of your skin. What I like about this moisturizer is that when you push this, in order to get the product out, you push this, I don't wanna like waste it, but you push this down and it just pumps out. So that's nice, once again, you don't have to open a container, have the products, ingredients exposed to air, and then you can kind of control how much you want. Maybe you wanna do one pump or two pumps if you wanna bring it even further down. Maybe your skin's incredibly dehydrated. I like this, this moisturizer. I think it's very hydrating. I don't find it's 
as hydrating as my Belief True Cream Moisturizer, which is an OG favorite for me. But this has been a wonderful daytime moisturizer for something that a little bit heavier, say, than this next thing that I also like. So I'd say the Belief True Cream is like the ultra hydrator. Uh, this is a nice in-between. I've been using this at nighttime and sometimes during the daytime. But this one, this one I've really been enjoying. This is the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel, and this is from Drunk Elephant as well. So the, the delivery system, once again, it is a pump up. It comes out as a nice lightweight gel. So on days where, um, well now, it's actually 30 some degrees right now, and I'm so happy. I'm not sweating in this really cute sweater. Um, it's just a beautiful cold winter day. I love it. Uh, but when it was warmer, which was just, you know, a couple weeks ago, um, I've been using this as my daytime moisturizer. If I need an extra boost of hydration, I will put a drop of any of my beauty oils mixed in with this. But this is really nice as it's by itself. I was using this this summer when it was really hot outside. Because um, when I combine this with the SPF I'm going to talk about, um, the SPF itself is very hydrating. So this was just a nice little something extra because I didn't need a ton of moisture when it's like, you know, super humid out. If you have oily skin, I think you would really like this because it delivers a punch. It's packed full of hydration within the gel itself. But if you have oily skin and you don't want something really thick and heavy or even combo skin, I would give this a go. Um, if you have dry skin, I would still give this a go because it's going to be something light underneath your makeup. You know, that's the thing with having dry skin or even in the winter time is you need more moisture, but you don't need more thickness because if you're going to wear makeup, sometimes having too thick of a skin care, too thick of a moisturizer, then your makeup doesn't go on so well or it breaks up more if you have more oily skin. So this is really nice. It packs a punch, but yet it's a lightweight formulation. This is the SPF. I'm loving this SPF. This is by Drunk Elephant as well. Um, you know, I really just like the brand as a whole. You know, it's just a wonderful brand. I've experienced uh, quite a few of their products now. I actually have a few more things. I have three new things from them that I'm going to be um, giving a review on eventually. Um, but, you know, it makes a difference in my skin. I've seen an actual difference. The products work well together. They just slid right on into the my routine. I just really enjoy them. So this is an SPF of 30. This is 20%. Does that say 20? Yes, zinc oxide. So this is a physical sunscreen. My face is allergic to chemical sunscreens. And so a physical sunscreen is what, I don't know why I'm saying like that, is what I need, um, my, my skin needs. This is really hydrating by itself, seriously. Like that's what I'm saying during the daytime, I would just do a little bit of this with this because this SPF in and of itself is a very hydrating formulation. They also make a tinted version of this, which is nice in the summer if you are, you just wanna do less makeup. Do a little bit of the tinted SPF. It, it gives a, a slight evening out of your skin tone and a little bit of warmth to the skin. It doesn't come in uh, shades, however, and so I could see how it might not be as tinted on every skin tone. On mine, it almost left a little bit too orangey of a glow, so I actually prefer this, depending on how you know tan I am or whatever. But this is a really nice SPF. It works well with makeup. This is such a surprising find, and I'm really enjoying it. This is the Elginous Genius Liquid Collagen Lip. So if you're looking for a product to plump up, and give you um, help you know eliminate the fine lines and wrinkles that occur over our lips over time things start to like shrivel up and they our lips lose collagen and collagen is what provides that plumpness factor this is wonderful I love to put this on every day before I put on my lip product and it really just you know smooths out this lip line area I've seen a difference with my lip line you can do it all the way on the outside and then your actual lip itself. So these little beads burst as you twist the product up. This also is cool when you apply it. So it's cooling. It just feels really good and it works. So definitely recommend checking this out. So that was 10 things. So this is technically number 11, but I knew my top 10 was going to be 10-ish. Um, I couldn't not include this because I feel like this is ever so... Um, important to incorporate into your skincare routine, even more so now during the cooler winter months, even though this also serves a purpose year round. So it's the Ren Evercalm Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. I've been doing this about once a week. So this is a mask that is formulated for sensitive skin. 
uh, that doesn't mean if you don't have sensitive skin, you can't use this because our skin, all of us go, especially women, go through periods of our skin being really good and really bad, like hormonal things happen and it's like, whoa, what's going on? Stress. Um, you know, maybe you wore a makeup product that caused you to break out. Maybe you tried a new skincare product that caused you to break up break out maybe you have rosacea maybe you have um there's any any number of skin things going on this is going to calm your skin this basically is a nap for your skin <laughs> you know we all keep going 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 we eventually run into a brick wall um we need a nap we need to calm down we need to just relax that is what this is going to do for your skin if you're experiencing any inflammation or redness or just, oh, there's a whole bunch of things going on and you need to just calm your skin down. Use this. So it comes in a pump, you squirt it out. You squirt it out, it is a really pretty, I, I use the word pretty, but it feels so silky and smooth. It's a nice thick cream you put on your face and you go sit down and you watch something or you just close your eyes or you read a book and you just wait. Then you go and wash it off and your skin feels like silk, like butter. It feels so good. This actually would be a really good thing to put on your face before you have an event that you're going to or you have a party or a wedding day or anything. This absolutely refines your skin and preps it. Just brings her back down to the beginning. So those are my top 10-ish 11 uh, skincare products that I purchased and tried this year. I recommend all of these things. They have done wonders for my skin. In fact, today I'm thinking I'm having a really good skin day. Um, but I really attribute it to taking care of my skin because if you want good makeup, you got to start with the foundation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode in this series. And don't forget to check out the top 10 makeup products that I bought this year. I hope you guys have a blessed and fabulous rest of your day and we will chat again soon. Bye guys.